Hi, I'm Cathy Brown and I was recently appointed the Executive Director for Engage for Success and I really wanted to share with you my thoughts on that and where I think the movement's going over the next year or so. And one of the things that we were asked to do when we interviewed was give three key initiatives for Engage for Success going forward. And that's where I'd like to start, really. I see Engage for Success very much as a movement still, even after the four years that we've been in existence. And movements have, I think, three areas of challenge. Movements need to grow. They are dynamic, they are fluid, they evolve. And if we don't move fast enough or in the right direction, we might get overtaken. We might actually just draw to a halt and not move at all or we might even move backwards and so my thinking around the initiatives that I suggested were in those three areas and last year we identified um, three strategies if you like that we would use to, to continue to try and reach our goals and our goals are to raise awareness of employee engagement and its benefits and to shine a light on the great practice that's already out there um, and so those three strategies we're growing our audience into that business world um, where we need to be. Engagement is absolutely a business challenge and a business responsibility, not uh, an HR or comms responsibility. So growing the audience, um, making sure that we stay certainly in line with, if not ahead of and driving, critical thought leadership in this area so that we don't get overtaken. And the, the last one is around... Um, making sustainable and growing on what we've already built in terms of our structure, in terms of, of how we work and how we go forward and how we influence people um, to, to obviously fulfil our agenda. So the three initiatives that I proposed to the interview panel and that I would like to continue this year along with development of our website and um, launch of new work. The first one hits that piece around critical thought leadership and our, our wonderful Guru Group already do a, a great amount of work here but in order to make sure that we are really thinking about the research projects that we do and um, the areas that we get involved in and even to some degree the language that we speak what we're going to do is pull together a rolling group of perhaps four or five people who are disruptive wicked thinkers if you like in the world of work so not just the world of engagement but wider than that the world of work and every few months or so we're going to ask them to join us for a couple of hours and we're going to lock them in a room um, with a futurologist in fact um, and ask them quite simply to to brainstorm around where they think the world of work is going and we will use that then as direction for our um, for our research efforts for our subgroups that look into particular topics uh, and to inform the articles that we put out and the work that we do so that we can be sure that what we're doing is actually in line with the way that the world of work is, is going. And if you've got anything that you can do, any speakers that you'd like to suggest for that, please do get in touch with us. That would be great. Um, and the second one is around that piece of um, growing our audience. And I think that over the, the four years that we've been in existence, we've done a very good job of creating the platform from which people realise that engagement is something that they should be looking at and we continue to do that but I think as a movement we've been less good at giving people the practical steps that they need to actually make a difference to both their behaviour and to their organisational behaviour and culture that means that engagement will become the way that that they work as opposed to something that's done to people and so I want us to have a real emphasis this year on moving both those of us who are already involved in the movement and everything we put out for people to interact with as part of the movement from being passively supportive to being active to enabling it to, to allow people to take that simple first step to changing their behaviour to being either a more engaging manager or someone at work who is prepared to be um, engaged to is prepared to engage with their business um, and so that's a watchword passive to active we will certainly be looking at it from the point of view of every piece of content that we put out via the website um, all of the deliveries for our, our research subgroups will have that in mind that they must be as well as the intellectual piece they must be delivering practical first steps for people to be able to take when they come to us and go well what is this engagement what do I do and then the final one is around, uh, you know, as I've said a couple of times, four years we've been going now. I've been involved uh, originally as a secondee throughout all of that time. 
and we have built um, a way of working. We have the task force, we have our guru group, we have our practitioner group, we have a core team of secondees and volunteers, and we have people who support us in many ways. But uh, four years is long enough for us to have developed some limiting beliefs about how we are as an organisation. And I think that we need to start challenging those beliefs now in a number of areas in order to make sure that they actually are the right beliefs that will carry us forward. If we want to grow our audience massively, which we do, then, you know, possibly some of those beliefs are going to start to hold us back. um, And that's where we might start to move backwards if we're not careful. So one of those beliefs particularly that I want everyone involved with the movement already to get involved in is our structure. Um, We need to understand if the task force structure, if the gurus, the practitioners and the way that we currently work is actually the right one for us. And we've already started to have that conversation in various of those groups and we will do so over the next couple of months because the impetus for change and the ideas for change have got to come from the movement itself. And um, I was lucky enough to be in Leeds this week. I put a practitioner meeting for E4S Yorks. um, And that was great. We spent an hour talking about how we could actually make things different and how things might work better in the guru practitioner space, for instance. So again, really do need your ideas and your energy. That's how the movement works. And so I really do encourage you to get in touch with us. Um, We will be launching various things, surveys, meetings, etc., for people to be able to give us their views. Um, But please do always contact me. I'm Cathy at engageforsuccess.org. You can find me on Twitter at Cathy AB. Um, I should warn you that I do tweet uh, a number of things other than engagement, including Morris dancing, but I'm sure you'll all get used to that if you follow me on there. Um, But I really do. I need your views. The movement needs your views. And I'm really looking forward to the next few years as we really, really take the engagement message out there into the wider world. Thank you.